So I'm restoring a 1957 Farmall Cub Low Boy. I got it from my grandpa, who got it from his dad. It was my grandpa's tractor for the longest time, and I have a lot of memories as a little boy riding on the back of a trailer, getting pulled by it. Uh, I went to my grandpa's house to kind of hang out with my grandpa, and he suggested, like, hey, you want to see if we can start the Cub? Didn't have any luck. Decided, you know, forget the other engine. I want to try and tackle this project. I enjoy working with my hands, and it also gives me a nice connection with my grandpa. So I, I call my grandpa a lot more now than I used to, just giving him, you know, monthly updates about the status of the tractor. And it's also really enjoyable to see something that didn't work when I first got it, and now slowly, little piece by piece, it's starting to come together and start working. Being in the military has really helped me just kind of troubleshoot things. Uh, you just run into a situation, a problem, and you don't just, just back up into a corner and, and call your supervisor for help. It's like, no, let's get on the computer, let's try and find a uh, the solution to this on my own and then we just give it a try. And then if you run into a dead end again, keep looking into it, and then maybe then you reach out and try and get a hand. Once the tractor's uh, complete, it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna keep this, this tractor, this is, hopefully eventually go to one of my grandkids.